Putin News Today Putin crowned victor in Russian presidential election, say election officials. Thursday saw the official declaration of Vladimir Putin as the winner of the 2024 presidential campaign by Russia's Central Election Committee, CC. According to CC director Ella Pamphilova, Putin earned 87.28% of the votes cast in the March 15, 17 poll, with 76.27 million votes counted in his favor. Second place went to Nikolai Karadinov, a communist, with 4.31% of the vote. Third and fourth, with 3.85% and 3.2% of the vote, respectively, came the candidates from the New People's Party and nationalist Leonid Slutsky. Due to the exile, imprisonment, or death of all of Putin's main opponents, his triumph was always certain. In the meantime, since February 2022, when the full-scale invasion of Ukraine began, the Kremlin has brutally cracked down on dissent, according to Pamphilova, Putin obtained a majority of the vote in countries other than Russia, including the US, Germany, Australia, Latvia, Estonia, and Armenia. A total of 388,791 Russians cast ballots overseas, according to the head of the CC. There have been claims of electoral fraud in Russia's recent election, but the country's allies and neutral nations have congratulated Putin on what they see as his triumph. In contrast, Western governments have condemned the poll as unfair and unfree. According to analyst Ivan Shukshin, who modeled the data from polling stations, it appears that around 22 million votes were for Putin cast unlawfully. There was absolutely perfect voting in Russia's 2024 presidential race, according to the Kremlin's Wednesday assertion, you might be aware that the Russian government has unfairly labeled the Moscow Times a non-governmental news organization that has been operating for more than 30 years, as a foreign agent. Our principles and the credibility of journalism are under attack in this flagrant effort to censor us. No one can censor us here at the Moscow Times. We will continue to report on Russia in an objective and factual manner. To carry out our vital job, however, we want your assistance. Any amount you can donate helps tremendously. Help us out every month for as little as $2 if you can. It's easy to set up, and every month you're supporting free and independent media, which makes a big difference. Much obliged, I in light of the continuing threats from Ukraine, authorities in the Belgorod area of western Russia have issued an evacuation order to anybody residing near the border with that country. Graveron District Chief Gennady Bondaryov of the Belgorod region has called for the voluntary departure of the local population saying that the situation remains tense there. Graveron is a district on the Russian-Ukrainian border, situated more than 50 kilometers west of Belgorod, the regional capital. It has been the target of multiple attacks since Moscow invaded Ukraine over two years ago. Bondaryov posted on the Telegram messaging app, colleagues from the Yaroslavl region are ready to greet the citizens of Graveron. Graveron is a Russian region located more than 100 kilometers northeast of Moscow. Graveron has been the target of multiple invasions by anti-Kremlin militants allied with the Ukrainian army for over seven days. Russian Volunteer Corps, one of the militias, issued a warning about ongoing attacks and a call to officials to evacuate everyone from the Belgorod region on Wednesday afternoon. Ukrainian shelling in Belgorod and the surrounding regions injured five civilians according to regional governor Vyacheslav Gladkov on Thursday. Earlier in the day, the Russian Defense Ministry announced that it had intercepted and destroyed 10 missiles launched by the Ukrainian military over the Belgorod region. On Tuesday, in response to the continuing attacks by the Ukrainian military, Gladkov announced the evacuation of about 9,000 pupils from the Belgorod region and the transition to remote learning at schools in certain border districts. Officials in Kharkiv, a city in Ukraine not far from Belgorod, reported five deaths on Wednesday as a result of a missile strike from Russia. Efforts to locate and rescue nine more people continued late into the night, as five more remained missing. Putin earlier on Wednesday promised to strengthen protections along Russia's borders, 